Hi, it's a glorious April day here in Shropshire and it's a month since I potted up my dahlias. So they have been busy growing and sprouting new stems um, and so I'm now going to see if I can take any cuttings from them to generate new dahlias for free. So if you want to learn how to get plants for free or dahlias for free, then carry on watching. Here are my dahlias that I potted up um, a month ago and some have really grown well and others not so much. Now that could be because they're just slower to grow than others or it could be that the tuber is rotten and won't grow. I've hardly watered the tubers since potting them on so they shouldn't have rotted in the soil but that doesn't mean to say that their tuber wasn't rotten in the first place so i will leave them a bit longer the ones that haven't sprouted um, and just see how it goes um, so some of these plants are new to me this year so i only have one tuber of each so i will be trying to pot on the or take cuttings of all of the ones that are new so that I can create many more without having to buy more tubers. So let me dig out the ones that I'm going to show you and we'll take it from there. Okay so I have picked out um, three of the newer varieties that I have. First one being Snowflake, another one Blackjack, <laughs> Extremes, white and really dark red and then a melina fleur so all of these have got several shoots and um, the blackjack not so much but i can see extra ones growing through and i don't need many cuttings just to make the extra plant and um, so these are sufficient some of the other new ones are still on still growing so and I have left it at that. So my tools for this is a dibber, so a dibber, a sharp knife. I have got some hormone rooting powder, which I have had probably for the last 15 years. So whether it is of any use is debatable. It's not essential to use it. Um, they, sh they should grow without it, but as I've got it, I will be using it. And then I've just potted up three pots of a kind of gravelly mix of potting compost. So en with enough nutrition for them to grow, but with enough lightness about the compost so that the roots can grow well. So I have those pots. So now all we need to do is take the cutting. So if I take Snowflake, as you can see, there are several um, cuttings, several stems that are there. So I can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, potentially seven shoots on this one tuber. Um, you only really need about five stems on a growing plant because otherwise they just get too much <laughs> so that they, they get congested and don't grow sufficient flowers so it actually is better to cut back all of the growing shoots if even if you're not 
going to be using the shoots for new plants cutting it back to about five stems so that you can um, provide so that the tuber doesn't get overwhelmed with what it's needing to do so in this instance because we've got so many stems i am actually going to cut the bigger stems out because these will continue to grow um, and i'm just gonna it gives me a bit more scope for the cutting um, I d well actually ideally you want to get a little bit of the tuber cut off with it although I've again I've done that in the past and I'm not really needed not worried about it and it's grown fine so let's just take the first one off and see what happens so I can see actually another I can see another stem coming up from here so I might have to sacrifice that one to try and get this one in fact I'm going to take both of these there we go so I've got a bit of the tuber attached now there's actually two oh split anyway so that's given me two plants straight away um, let's take the bottom leaves off so it doesn't have to work too hard um, and the transpiration from the water is so there's not much water loss through transpiration of the leaves so that's two and maybe how many have I got there one two three and I'm going to take I think try and get this one off here or maybe that shoot mm -hmm. there we go oh I know <laughs> as it happens I've got four because I damaged one in the in the process of doing that so really handy Right, so that's four potential new plants. So let's get the... Hormone potting compost. And again, I am still going to take off those extra leaves, I think. So dip it into the comp into the hormone rooting powder and put it in the corner of the pot. This is because when the roots grow, they hit the side of the pot and then break off and create more roots, which will produce ultimately a better growing system. If you cut off half these leaves, if you leave it so that they are, if you pot it up in the middle and the roots then go downwards, so actually they create a lot of root, root so they create a lot of length, but not much um, lateral growth. So doing it that way you get better um, root growth because it hits the side of the pot straight away and that's pretty much it we leave that I'll water that in and then leave it for a little while for the roots to grow and this will carry on growing and we hopefully will have five plants for the price of one